Last night I was watching a video about an alleged haunted hotel or motel. And they showed a picture of a young woman named Martha. I looked at her name, the time of her death, did some research online and found a little history about this woman. She lived in Pennsylvania and worked as a store clerk. And then on the 4th of July in 1911, she was at this motel on the second floor watching fireworks. And one of the fireworks, a rocket of some kind, I guess, malfunctioned, exploded before it had gone into the sky, exploded prematurely, and there was shrapnel. A piece of that shrapnel struck Martha in the throat, in her neck, on the right side. She bled to death in about 10 minutes. Now, Every so often I come across the death of a person and it really touches my soul. It really bothers me because this young woman was so young. She was about 17 or 18 years old when she died. And in the prime of her life, she had her whole life ahead of her. And she never, I bet she never thought that, you know, when she woke up that morning, that she would be dead by that evening. And it reminds me of how fleeting life is, how temporary and unstable the situation here is. So I was really moved by this and I feel really sorry for her. And if you're an Orthodox Christian, I would encourage you to pray for Martha. I want her to be saved, okay? And she lived at a time when women were, were feminine when I look at Martha and compare her to how women are today, there's no comparison. She was a lady. And I'm sure there are still feminine ladylike women in the world today, but I like the women that lived in the early 20th century, the 19th century and before. I just don't care for women in the, in the modern paradigm, in, the, in this modern system. They can barely talk without swearing constantly. They're killing themselves, smoking, drinking. They're addicted to little toys like, you know, text messaging and things like that. And Martha lived in a time when life was more simple. Families and communities were closer. And that's the kind of world I like, simplicity, purity. And you can see in this picture that she was wearing a skirt, and I believe women should wear long, modest skirts. Today, women are so immodest. They, they teach their children from childhood to be immodest. Like this, this thing about, you know, children wearing shorts. See, they indoctrinate them with these ideas from childhood, and they grow up believing it's normal. The reason why you believe that women wearing pants and shorts is normal is because you were born into the matrix of the New World Order. This is all you've ever known. So you automatically assume it's normal humanity when it's not. We live in very abnormal times. Now, I, w I want to emphasize here, I want people, if you're Orthodox, to pray for Martha, okay? I want her to be saved. I also want to give a message to the motel. Now, I want you people to let Martha rest in peace, okay? I don't know for sure why you are popularizing the legend that her ghost haunts your motel. Perhaps it's for the publicity, the attention, the entertainment, money, I don't know. But Martha died a little over a hundred years ago and let her rest. My message to you is let her rest in peace and I think that by keeping this legend alive, you are dishonoring and disrespecting her, 
okay? And I don't think she would like that. So my message to you is let Martha rest in peace, okay? Thank you.